What's up, Scorpio? Let's see what's going on for my Scorp, Scorp, Scorpio. What's up, Scorp? <laughs> okay, so you got some, you guys letting go with some pride, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for Scorp in a beauty adversity. A lot of people are getting this right now, adversity. So, like I said, for Aquarius, and I think for Leo had this too, Aquarius here. Um, Aquarius and Leo had this as well, um, adversity here. Like I said before, life is filled with adversity. That's going to always be that. You know what I'm saying? How you hold that shit down is what make all the difference. Yeah, you got to you gotta be a soldier. You got to stand 10 toes on it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what come at you, just period. Accept the challenge. Defeat that shit. I accept the challenges. Are, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And learn from shit. You absolutely learn from it. What don't kill you make you stronger. Period. Okay? What else for my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and No, Spirit, Angel, Times, of my Light. Please give me African messages. Uncle Michael, please protect me. As I'm searching this energy spirit. And then friendship here. So we got to understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And then we have relationships. So heavy on the relationships here. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, your yeah, honesty. So... There's a friend, somebody that's in your life, and somebody's in your life for a reason, or somebody came into your life for a reason. And what relationships here, you need to build, have, you know, have, keep healthy people around you, healthy relationships around you. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't have motherfuckers around you that just make life hard. Motherfuckers that envy you, motherfuckers that want to be you, they want to take your life. You can't have motherfuckers like that around you. Okay? You need to, you need to create healthy relationships with people. People around you that they want to see you win. They want to see you have the best. You know what I'm saying? Attract relationships. You, I feel like you are what you attract. So you got to be in that vibration. So if you be that friend that you want somebody to be to you, you attract those type of friends. Okay? So you need to allow people around you who serve your highest good. People that are going to, who, people that are going to put you in alignment and keep you on your path. You understand me? And that's real shit. I feel like everybody say they want a real friend until they get a real friend. Everybody say they want real love until they get real love. Everybody wants something that they can't be to another person. You know what I'm saying? People want real love, but they can't get that shit. People want true, true friendship, but they can't be that shit. You know what I'm saying? People want shit that they can't give back, period, to somebody. It's, it ain't a one-way street. People is in your life for a reason. I don't care what nobody say. Anybody that you deal with, anybody in your life, they should serve some sort of purpose in your life. Nobody should just be in your life just doing shit. They ain't doing that. They ain't give you no knowledge. Put you on, put you up on, on no type of game. They ain't helping you in no way. Like, you know what I'm saying? You serve a purpose in a person's life. Whether that's that person you can call just when you're feeling down, you're feeling low, who can who, who can give you some motivation to help lift you up, lift your spirits when you're at your lowest. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's in your life for a reason. And if a motherfucker ain't doing, they serving no purpose, if all they got is drama, if all they got is toxicity, and see, that's the problem with the world. Most people don't even know what love is, whether that's on a friend level or it's on, or it's on a, a, lover, a, a lover level. Most people don't know true love in this world because why people are used to toxicity. If you're not arguing with a motherfucker, if you're not going back and forth, it's, it's, it's a bunch of jealousy. If it, ain't, if it ain't a bunch of bullshit going on, then it's not normal to people. Is born to people because all people know they conditioned, they've been conditioned, they've been immune, they've been conditioned to bullshit, to toxicity. Period. You don't need friends or relationships that's gonna make your life harder with adversity here. You don't need that. Just period. What else for my Scorpios? Sun Moon Rise of Venus in North Node here for my Scorpios. What's what's going on here? Growth. Understand that every friendship, every relationship, everybody that you come in contact with, every experience in your life is to help grow you. You're going to grow from this shit. Growth, adversity, you grow from that shit. I want to expand my conscience and my awareness. You become more aware. You become more conscious. And see, the more, the more experience, see, age don't grow a motherfucker. It's experience that grows a motherfucker. That's why you got motherfuckers that's grown as fuck, 40, 50 some years old, still acting like they 18, 19. Because it's not, it's not age, it's experience. And once you once you get enough experience on your ass, you know what I'm saying? You don't you don't tolerate no fuck shit. Just straight up. You don't tolerate fuck shit. Like I was in the stove. Like I was in the stove 
the other day, right? I was in the store. I was in the store on Valentine's Day, right? And like when I was in the store, this dude, he gonna approach me. He kept trying to, he was pressing. He was he was pressing real hard. He was pressing real hard. Like, man, let me get your number, let me get your number. You know what I'm saying? He he was he was in his twenties. And it's like it's a no, baby. It's a no. For one, you in your twenties. You got a lot, you got a whole lot to learn. And not not his late twenties. Like 28, 29, but he in his early 20s. It's like, uh, yeah, like that middle, that middle 20s. It's like, uh, uh, bathroom. It's a no for me. It's definitely a no. I don't care if I was single or what. It would be a no. It would be a no because it would be a no regardless because it's like, uh, uh, I can't do that because you still got a lot to learn still you still got a lot of things to experience in life and then you know and then it's just it's just the way just the way a, just the way a motherfucker talk to me i can already see game i can already see that you i can see if you worth you worth it or you're not i can see just by the way you even talking because you do have motherfuckers that are in their 20s um who are very mature so but mm -mm, you can tell when a motherfucker just not mature at all. You can tell when they it just ain't like nah. It's a no. Don't come at me talking about oh how how big yo you know oh no nah, no nah. you can't pull a real bitch like that. You can't pull a real bitch like that. You can't you can't nah that's that's not how you even you can't that's not how you even spit game to a lady. Not a real bitch. You don't spit game like that. So no they ain't, that ain't game. That's that's goof that's goofball lame nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't I don't I don't play the circus. You know what I'm saying? I don't be at the fair playing those clown ass games. I don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't approach me on, on, in a certain way just by the just by the way you talk, by the way you walk. I can tell what type of man you is by the way you speak and by the way you walk. I can tell what type of man you is, and just off that alone, I know if the if to decline you off real period point blank. Especially some oh I rap I get money I don't give a fuck about your money I don't give a fuck that you rap I don't give a fuck and, and, and that's and that's even worse because how many of these rappers they got money but that lifestyle come with a whole bunch of bitches you know what I'm saying you talking to this person that person uh uh it's 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 a hell to the no now bitch <laughs> it's definitely a hell to the no bitch and uh, uh I don't give a fuck about your money uh, a real bitch don't give a fuck about your money straight up bitch I get my own money I can't be bought. And that's on period. Can't be bought. That's just what it is. Just period. Straight up. A father more bitch. I got somebody. So it's definitely a no bitch. I already got somebody bitch. <laughs> okay. Jordan is not playing them games. And that's on period. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We not playing. <laughs> not playing them games bitch. I ain't finna fuck up. Nah, bitch. Um, uh, uh. Okay, what's going on for my? Oh my god, too many for Scorpios. You just, I don't know. It's like after, 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 after a while, as life as you grow in life and as you learn and you have more experience, it's like a lot of shit. You just gonna be able to see a mile away. You just know the type of friends you, you know the type of friends you need, the type of lovers you need. You just know here your fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I feel like some of you guys are being tested. You're being tested by the divine here, humor here. Yeah, I choose to, to focus on the lighter side of life. Some of you guys just just need to, you know, hang out with your friends, a good friend that you trust, you know, and just enjoy. You know, what I'm saying, stop taking life, stop taking everything so serious in life. You know what I'm saying? Some things you gotta just laugh about and just and just make a joke out of. Just period. What's going on here? What am I? Okay. Too many. Okay, so we got loneliness here. So relationships and loneliness. I know that I am never alone in discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So I feel like for some of you guys, you want a real relationship. You want somebody 100. You want somebody real. And some of you guys could feel lonely. I'm getting, I, I could be talking to a Scorpio that you don't know how to be alone. You don't know how to be by yourself. You always need somebody. You hop from relationships to relationships. Stop hopping from relationships to relationships. Stop doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. Stop hopping from relationship to relationship. Take time to be still and focus on self. Some people don't know how to be alone, know how to fuck with you. That's what you got to do sometimes. You got to know how to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Stop hopping from person to person because you don't want to be alone. You don't, you don't, you don't want to be by yourself. No, I don't do that. Hold on. Okay. Know how to fuck with you. Know how to fuck with yourself. And then we got indecision here. Grow. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. You could be indecisive about some shit here. 
But I feel like something's going to help you grow and expand. You make the right decision. You need to have this ind indecisive shit. Your trust. You need to trust. Yeah, again, something significant about your intuition. You, 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 it's like you confused about a decision or, or unable to make some type of decision here. Listen to your intuition here. You know, you need to dead some shit here. Death card, Scorpio energy here. Bottom is freedom. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Sun will rise to Venus in North Node. Yeah. I feel like through this world, you know, through this world, I feel like there is a past on love one that has helped guide you through this fucked up ass world of people. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there is a spirit, your spirit guide or a past on love one is trying to help guide you through this on, on this on this earthly realm. So you have spiritual help here. You have spiritual guidance. Okay, and then fear. I feel like you have fears of being disappointed. You have fears of, of, of feeling like um you failed at something. I, I'm getting a, a I'm getting fear of rejection. It's like you fear rejection or you feel disappointment. You fear having that. Okay, you have a lot of adversity going on in your life at this time here. There you go, Scorpio, the tower here. Yeah, it's like you're having a sudden epiphany or you're having a sudden realization about something or something is unexpected. Yeah, ten of swords here. Okay, so there was somebody you considered to be a friend. You had a friend in your life, somebody you considered to be a friend that betrayed you. So some information came out about a, about a betrayal. This was somebody that you thought was your friend, somebody you thought y'all was, you know, close to, you know, smooth as butter. But you realize that somebody, they were just a fake ass friend to you. And spirit is like telling you, don't even get mad about the shit. Take this shit lightly. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Some shit you got to laugh at. But hey, now you know, you know. Period. You know. Yeah. Ten of swords. I mean, two um, two of swords. You was unwilling to see somebody for who they were or you didn't see this coming. Yeah. You, want, it, it, you wasn't meant to work with somebody. So you could have you could have did some type of business or did business with a friend and, and they and they fucked you over and stabbed you in the back and betrayed you. This could have been with an earth sign, um, can scope you, I mean, an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. I'm also seeing, or, or air sign, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm also seeing here too that this could even be a marriage. Somebody you chose to work with, somebody you, 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 you got paper documentations on. I'm getting some type of marriage license or something like this. Somebody you chose to work with, going to business with, whatever, a partner of yours. Somebody that was also your friend, but you're in your lover at the same time. And somebody fucked you over and betrayed you. And this type of, some type of secret, some type of betrayal is being exposed. The tower is full of secrets. Things that are hidden. It's being exposed to what somebody did to you. Yeah, you putting that shit to rest. You're healing. You're choosing to heal. I'm also seeing here somebody's going to the doctor too. Somebody's going to the doctor as well and finding out some shit. Regarding the third party, now somebody's stressed out. Somebody's walking away from, from a queen of cups here. So you could have even went to the doctor and found some shit out too. Okay, let's see what's going on here. You feel betrayed by somebody here. Okay. What's the what's relationships here? Okay, yeah. I feel like the type of... You, 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 fuck, you fucking with the wrong people, just period. The wrong people. That's, that's about to get a change. I feel like your relationship is nothing but conflict in your, in your, conflict in your relationship. Like everybody you you friends with, you fall out with their ass. You fall out with friends. It's always conflict. It's always drama. It's always chaos. It's always fighting. Somebody can jump arguments. It's always this type of shit. These these type of relationships that you would see when you around drama all the time, or you or you around this type of shit. That's when you got to check yourself. That's that's when you got to look at yourself. Like what is it about me? Why I'm always attracted or always kicking it with these type of people where it's always some type of bullshit or fuck shit going on at some point you got to realize them something about me is toxic is it something about you do, do you do you need to do some shadow work is it something about you you need to work on while you keep hanging around people that's always it's always drama i'm getting in, in friendships in your relationships it's always shit it's always shit going on you afraid to be alone you need to back up Back up and take time to, to, to heal and take time to really figure out what it is that you want. Take time to find out what it is that you really need and what you really want in your life. Take time to focus on self. You ain't you ain't taking a break. You hopping from person to person. Cause you don't want to be by you don't you don't by yourself. Yeah. 
You can have some type of childhood wounds, childhood drama. You could have been abandoned, felt abandoned as a child, felt like your mama abandoned you, your daddy abandoned you. This, 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 this is linked to your childhood. You got childhood trauma that you have not healed from. And that's affecting you today. Just period. Yeah. You need to have discipline. In the near future, something requires you to have discipline. You got to have, you got to be disciplined. Your decisions you make, your actions, you got to be disciplined in those things. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Growth. Yeah, you're, you're growing here. I feel like you're going to grow from something, something you I want to expand my, something's going to grow. From. You need to get it. Also, I told, I feel like you need to love yourself. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who you don't love yourself. You don't really know what self-love is. You truly don't. Because if you know self-love, you wouldn't keep attracting relationships like this. Toxicity and drama. Because you don't really know your you don't you don't really know your worth. You don't really love yourself in this period. Okay. I told you it could be something with your mother here. Something significant about your mother. Okay. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you may need to heal, yeah, heal a family situation with your mother here. Yeah. So you could be going to heal. Oh, this is oh, this is you. You 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 want to go towards, or you want to go back to a baby mama, somebody you want to heal a connection or a relationship with here. Yeah, something like that. Or oh, this is your mother here. You want to heal heal some type of family issue with your mother, something that is unresolved here. Yeah, unresolved here. Yeah, this is you. You're rushing in. This is you. You're rushing in. You could be this emperor here. What's the six? Of, okay. Okay, so somebody is moving on. Somebody is moving on, or somebody's moving on to heal, and like you want to rush into them. That's, yeah, what's indecisive here? Yeah, you're not sure if you want to move on or go backwards. So it's something significant about the past. You're not sure if you want to go back to somebody or move on from somebody. This could be like somebody you got a family with or something like that. I'm also getting something needed to be healed with your mother here. Some type of childhood wounds or some type of healing you're trying to do here. Yeah. I also feel like something significant about a, I also feel like something significant about a baby mama. Like you're mad because a baby mama is moving on. You're mad because somebody you're mad because somebody is moving on. And you're trying to attack somebody or you're mad because they want to move on. Or this is this person. You know what side you're on. Because somebody's moving on. I'm I'm seeing somebody move on into another relationship. I'm definitely getting that. Somebody's moving on to a, a, another relationship. I'm definitely getting it. And somebody is mad about it. Just period. Okay? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Don't forget to like come try and fuck with your girl. Bye.